Hi, um, welcome to my channel, Kitty Chronicle, and my name is Shalima, and me and my cat, Elle. So when you see before, want to say hi. Can you believe that it's, um, March already? So I guess it's time for my February flip through. So, uh, my theme for February is mythology. And for the spread, I just use whatever color comes in the sticker here, which is mostly purplish. And yeah, it is. Okay, so my first book of February is Ariadne. Ariadne. Um, not sure how to pronounce it, but um, yeah, it has a really beautiful spine look really good on your bookshelf. I bought this book secondhand last year and I haven't had the chance to read it until now. Um, the story itself is about Irene and Phaedra, the daughters of King Minos and Pasiphae of the legend of Minotaur. But the Minotaur itself is featured very, very briefly in the book. Uh, but since I already decided that I want to do a Minotaur, so... So here he is, just hanging in the corner of the page, taking all the space. Anyway, my next book is Jessie Burton's Medusa. And this is such a beautiful, beautiful book. It's a really lovely illustration also really exciting retelling like, this is a proper retelling and spoiler alert Medusa has a happy ending here which made me pretty happy about it and um, I also just enjoy the beautiful illustration by Clay Lomane Gill immensely the color the texture is just gorgeous For Medusa, the obvious theme is most definitely snakes, and I got this snake illustration from a magazine, so just put that on there, and yeah, and I kind of like it. So my next book is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by XCO. It's gorgeous, and I got this at the young adult section in Ken's library, so this is my first library book of the year and I um, just fell in love with the cover and decided to just recreate it because I noticed that the cover has a similar color with my mild liner. so yeah I'm pretty excited about that and the story itself is pretty cute it has a really strong uh, Studio Ghibli Spirited Away vibe, which I really enjoy. And the next book is my second book from Jennifer Saint, and I think it's a pattern of her that just putting one name as a title while the story itself is not about just one person. So the story is told by three POVs, which is Electras. Um, Clitemnestra and also Cassandra um, and I like Electra the least like in the last hundred pages I just couldn't wait for the story to be over because I just I just don't like her but yeah the book itself is pretty like they have like a lovely end page and the design is really good I really like when they pay attention to the inside spine as well. So yeah, it's just a semi-regretted buy. Um, yeah, I pro I probably shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I do judge a book by its cover because the cover is really pretty. Um, yeah, and this is sort of my last-minute 
reading. I just, just been neglecting my reading for a week, and then I realized, oh my god, it's the end of February already. So I hardly do any illustration in this. So I just put a bunch of stickers and washi tapes and call it a day. Um, so this is the sticker I use. It's from Dodo Lulu. It's really cute, and I think I'm even gonna use um, the backing paper because it's so cute for another project. I don't want to end this month with um, Electra, so I decided to whip up my Madeline Miller that I've been saving for a special occasion. And I really like the format because it's remind me of the Penguin Classics. Alright, before we move on to the journal with me part of the video, um, I would like to recommend this book by Nikita Gill, um, Great Goddesses. And this is like a short stories and also poems anthology. And I think with poetry books, you can't really just read it like in one sitting. You have to just take it you know, each day, little by little, in small morsels to really savor it. And it has gorgeous illustration in it as well. Um, and I'm looking forward to finish this book within this year. Before I start journaling, I usually like to set the mood by either lighting candle or putting some records on and this is just picked randomly from my husband's final records collection and neither of us have seen the show okay let's um get journaling i guess um so yeah i was really inspired after reading madeline miller i really like her galatea retelling um and so I decided to do an illustration. Um, I just try to recreate the book cover, well, in a similar mood and similar tone. I'm using gouache here, um, and use all the blues in the gouache um, that I have. So, um, okay, this is my first time using gouache in this journal in this paper and the paper is a bit like slippery so it doesn't really take the gouache that well but I think I have to probably layer it a couple of times to get the result that I want and I'm getting too impatient here so I just whip up the bigger brush to just cover the whole page in like a cross hatching movement strokes and then I go back and fill in the details um, just sort of like randomly I'm not fuss about where I put my line it doesn't have to be like exactly a copy of the cover to me as long as i got the mood of the whole thing why right, i'm pretty happy and then i sort of put a light wash over it of blue to make the color more intense for the gold i use this current decor brush which i really like it's really intense it's pretty wet as well but the color is bright it's sparkly without being glittery i really like it i'm really happy that i decided to continue on with my reading instead of ending it with electra um, i just read it like back to back and it really gets me going again um, got me inspired again so yeah yay Madeline Miller I love you so much and please make more books and yes I will buy it
Oh, and if you think that you hear bells, you're not imagining it. Um, I have a wind chime right outside my window, and I couldn't help it if it comes through all the time. And also probably birds, because I live in Australia, and the birds here are pretty wild and loud, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, yeah, but I, I think I like it. It adds a personality to my videos, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is my Madeline Miller spread, and this is my last spread of the month. Oh, and I broke my camera, mm, but that's for future me to figure out. Um, alright, bye!